So now let me start with the demos and as the first demo I'm going to talk about a very basic scenario that is very common actually and you will probably will you, you will have to use it at one point in time. So I'm going to show you how you can create a Google form and how you can then create an answers sheet and then how you can publish both the answers sheet and the Google form into a Google site or probably even just publishing the Google form into a Google site and keeping the answer sheet uh, private if you wanted to do that. Now, this is going to be an externally accessed site. So the publishing will be as public or anyone with the link. And what I'm going to do basically here, I'm going to create a basic form that is going to be a registration form for an event or anything actually that requires registration or anything. And then I will create or I will link an answer sheet with this form and then I will just show you how things work there. I will probably do some one or two answers there so that I can get some data which I will use actually to create few charts like two charts probably or something like that. And then I will move to Google Sites and start building a very basic site with only one page that is going to be the form page. And probably add another page which is going to be the same way if you're doing it on a separate site just adding another page for the answers and I'll show you how I can link the Google Sheet and the charts into that answers page and then showing the steps to publish that into the internet and then testing and that's it so let me go to the admin console or to the Google Sites actually or actually Google Forms sorry <laughs> because I'll start with creating the basic form and it can be actually any of these templates or I can just do my own form. So just let me do an event registration form just because it is ready and it actually fits what I'm going to do. So the event registration form, it's going to be a very basic form that is going to be pre-filled for me and you know it's it's a very straightforward thing you just type the name select or type your email address set the organization name and select the basic event details and all of this now there is one consideration that i want to set here which is if i go to settings now this form is restricted to only the people inside my domain and my goal is to publish this form to the outside so i will uncheck this this will make the form publicly accessible and there is another option that is called collect email addresses but I, I, I probably need to check this if I didn't have the email address field in here but since I have that added here manually then I don't have to check this box or anything. Now this form is ready as a design again i used a template just to make sure it's saving time and nothing is done or i don't just waste your time showing you how to create a google form and so on so what i need to do here is the responses where i need to link a google sheet for the responses so when i click this menu it there is an option called select response destination and when I set this, it's going to ask me to select the destination Google Sheet, either a new Google Sheet or an existing one. So I'll, of course, I will make a new Google Sheet and that's going to be the same name as the form. But at the end, it will mention that this is the responses sheet. So I'm fine with this. I'll just click create. And that's it. So the setup and the form is done. The responses sheet is done also. Let me open that for you. So I will click the sheets icon here and or the Google sheet icon. It will take me to the responses sheet. Now I need to add one or two charts just to demonstrate how we can add that into the uh, Google site. So let me add a few answers in here. Let me go back to the questions and let me go to preview mode. Then let me add or let me fill a few fields in here. So the first name or the name is sorry, one. The email, I will just add my personal email and then or one. So now I've got my three answers. If I go to the Google Sheet, I will see the three answers here. And now I want to add a chart for the organization and for the days for the attendees. 
And the way to do this, there are actually uh, probably three charts since I have the dietary as well. The way to do this is you can do it manually using the basic and standard way by going to insert and going to chart and all that. But I just want to save a little time here, so I'll go to explore. And I will say the, I've seen some charts. Okay, so it automatically grabbed the dietary and the organization for me. And in my case, I will just add those to the chart by clicking this button. And I want to move them to another page. So let me add a chart. So this is the count of what days you will attend. Then go to responses again. Then select the organization. Okay. So I've got my two charts. I'll just use two charts. I'll delete those. So what I've got now is I've got the questions form, the Google form, which is ready. And I've got the answers sheet, which is also ready. Now I will go to sites.google.com and I will design the questions page. So I'll just select a blank template. And let me actually resize this and I will do it event station for let me do the name of the site also, just so I don't forget about it. And then I will add the form in here, and that's actually very basic and very easy and very straightforward. The Google form is found at the bottom of these widgets or icons or items, which is here, actually the one before the last. We are going to actually use these three icons, so I'm going to create a form and then I will add a sheet and I will add the charts. So I'll click forms and then I will select the form that I have just created. I will click insert and that's it. Now the form is actually inserted into the Google site. Let me do a little bit of resizing to this one to be more friendly. And that's it. So this is the form. If you want to review it or take a look on it, how it will look when you publish it, then you can just click the preview button here and it will give you the preview for this. So it's very nice and very easy and very simple page. Next, I will add the answers page. And as mentioned, you can either do it on a separate site or you can actually do it on this same site. The only difference is if you do it on this site, then you will need to also make the answers publicly accessible or probably just restrict the URL. So, or probably hide the link so that nobody can access the, the answers page unless he knows the URL. Um, much better for privacy is you do it on a separate site, but again, for my case, I, I just don't care because this is a demo and a test, but I just want to show you the, the idea and the concept here. Probably then you'll take it and expand on it and do things better your own way and according to what is the case and situation that you have. So in the pages tab, I will add a new page and I will name it answers or responses, whatever. Then I'll click done. And again, now I will go to insert and I will go to charts. Let me add the charts on top. I will select the answer sheet that contains the chart. Then it will give me the two charts that are available. So I will select the, let me select the organization first. Actually, probably the two will be added here. So I've added the two charts. So I've got only one working chart, which is fine. I don't really care. Then I will add the Google Sheets or the answer sheet, which is this one. When I add it, it will appear at the bottom and then people can view and read the answers in this sheet. So basically the site design is done. The content that I want to have here is already done. So when I go to preview, I should be able to also see the answer sheet here and what is the content inside it and all of that. This will actually be fixed when I modify the chart, but again, it's probably it's something, the settings of the chart, but you see the idea, you get the idea that the chart is visible here and it's already extracted from the sheet. So when I go to the charts page, you see that the chart is here and it's basically the same as what we've got above. So now comes the access and the publishing. 
So if you want to publish this site and if you want to make it available to the public and to the users who want to use it, then you will just go to the publish button and then you will set the title or the URL. And then once the URL is done, you will set the access scope or the permissions, who's allowed to access this. The default is going to be internal for your domain, but as mentioned, I want to make it external. So I'll go to manage. And in the manage, I will set anyone with the link, or actually I will set it to public. So it's set to public, and then people can find and they can search for this site on Google search or any other search engine, and they will be able to find the link to the site. So I'm fine, I'm done. Then I'll just select the publish button here, and that's it. Now there was one option and one setting that said request search engines to not list or not index the site which is something that you might want to set if you want to have the site only available through the link if you want to send the link to the destination people then probably not all of the search engines will comply to this but it's a good option and it's a good measure to make sure that the site is not really visible on the internet however if you want this site to be visible on the internet then you don't have to worry about this option at all so now the site is published, and when I take the URL for this, copy the URL, and when I open it in a private, or actually let me open it in the same account before, you will find I'm able to view the site and probably answer the form. Now, if I open a private window, and if I try to navigate to the site, I will be able to view the form, but I will not be able to view the charts as you can see here and even the Google Sheet. If I go to home, you'll find the Google form that is completely fine without any issues. So the reason is you're unable to view the answers here is because this site is shared to the public, but the actual permissions on this Google Sheet, it's only me. If I go to the Google Sheet here, you'll find that it's only me is able to access this. So actually I'm the only one who's going to be able to view the answers, which might be another way and another option to keep the form and the answers on the same site, but then only share the answers the sheet and the charts with the people who will view that information and detail. Now, if I set this permission to anyone with the link, then and when I refresh that page at the background, then I will actually be able to view the answers and the charts in here. So this is also an important point that you need to make sure that you are, you are aware about. If you are publishing a Google site to the outside, to the internet, and external people need to access that site, and you put resources in that site, such as Google Drive files, Google Sheets, and anything that is managed by your organization, you just have to make sure that the permissions on these resources allow the users who will use that Google site to actually see those resources and use them. And this is actually something that you need to be aware about and you need to account for. If, for example, you're restricting the file sharing in your organization to only internally, but then you suddenly decide to publish a site to the outside and put some resources on it, then you just need to make sure that you have that permission issue sorted out and handled or sorted out properly. Now, I gave you this demo because there are a lot of ways that you can use Google Forms and Google Sites and Google Sheets together. And this is the most basic and the most common one. You can create polls, you can create even registrations as this, you can create some data collection forms. You can actually do a lot with this and it's very easy to set up. You see, you see it's probably it's just like 15 minutes or something. I have done this whole scenario and this whole setup. And it, it's not going to be more even if I selected the form from a template. It's going to be the same type. Even if I decided to design the form myself and add the questions myself, it's not going to take you more than a few minutes to get this setup sorted out and ready to be used by anyone who is intended to use this setup. So this is it for the first demo the Google Forms and its responses page. The next demo is going to be about Google Drive and shared drives and some documents libraries and some stuff from Google Drive and, and, and the items in Google Drive that you can share and embed on Google Sites.